Welcome, everyone, to the L7C Podcast, College Football Edition. That is right. We have the first college football podcast of the 2024-2025 season, which means you have the College Football Content Tuesday crew reuniting this season. You got the head producer of the L7C, Justin Atkindale. You got the anime expert of the L7C, Cedric Ware. And then you got the captain of the L7C, Byron Mitchell. What's going on, guys? It's great to be back. It is great to be back. I was just thinking about this earlier. Since yesterday was our four-year anniversary, I've enjoyed the growth of this college football podcast because first year was just me and Martin. Second year, we added Cedric. And then last year, we added Justin. So I've been growing on this college football podcast, and I love it. Or for four years. Love it, man. Mm-hmm. Cedric, Justin, how are you guys doing? Feels great to be back. Feels great to be back. Thank God for fucking football, man. <laughs> the drought is over. The drought is over. We're back. Oh, Justin, I know this is a busy time because, you know, like Byron said, you joined the college football pod last year. And then this time next week, you'll be recording the opening one for the NFL one. Yeah. Yeah, I was literally looking up NFL shit before we hopped on here. <laughs> getting ready, getting in that mode. Oh, yeah. I'm, it's time to get in that mode. It's going to be great. Uh, so, first episode of the year, guys. So, you know, we're going to talk about, obviously, the Buckeyes preview their season. Then we're going to talk about the college football playoff, uh, the 12 teams. And we're going to pick our 12 teams right now. And then talk about some of the top games, preseason Heisman pick. And then the fun part that shout out to Justin implemented into these things. Winners and losers of the summer. Sounds good. Let's get right into it. Uh, Last year, didn't finish the way we wanted to finish. Finished 11 and 2. You know, any normal team would be happy to finish 11 and 2. But we finished with a third straight loss to Michigan. And that embarrassing loss to Missouri in the Cotton Bowl. Michigan went on to win the national championship. We already know. We talked about the transfers, our last podcast. Uh, The new AD has said that we've spent $20 million on this roster um, in NIL. So here we are. Got to start with the captain. Byron, we're the preseason AP number two. Um, OSU's current win total is at 10.5 over under. Mm -hmm. What the hell are your expectations this year? One overall beat fucking Michigan. I am tired of losing to those bitches in the last three years. Second, win the Big Ten. Like, those are my top two expectations for this year. Beat Michigan and win the Big Ten. Okay. Well, fair enough, fair enough. Cedric, what about you, man? What's your expectations? Let's put that money to use, man. Let's get some dubs. I, honestly, biggest I want us, we need, we need to get back in that championship game. It's a 12-team playoff. It's a lot of room. Yes, we need to fucking beat Michigan because it's been a drought. But we need to get back to the championship game. There's no reason why with this roster, with this much money going into it, that we cannot be in that game. So for me, that's that's the biggest goal right now. Get back into that championship game. Try to get another natty. Justin? I mean, obviously, I agree with what um, Byron Cedric said. You got to win, got to beat Michigan, got to win the Big Ten. Hey, you just got to use that mix. And then all that money that they spent this offseason, along with some of the guys that they retained, some of the guys who said, like, yeah, we're, I'm coming back specifically to beat Michigan. So, absolutely, they need to be, you know, winning the Big Ten, being Michigan, and then hopefully able to run the table and, get that um, college football playoff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We've already talked about it, but just real quickly for people who forget, we retained at 90% of the roster of people who could have left early for the draft. The, mm-hmm. There was one other person that I'm blanking on his name and I apologize, but him and Marvin Harrison were the only two people who left early. Everyone else came back. I can't think of his name either. Yeah. JTT Henderson, everyone came back and obviously common core transferred and, 
We already t- and we got Quentin Johnson. I have all the transfers. We already talked about that. So it seems like everyone's expectations minimum, minimum beat Michigan, win the Big Ten, get in the playoff, and then see see where we go from there. Uh, so mm-hmm. I have Ohio State's schedule up. We start this Saturday versus Akron, a 50-point favorite. Um, so I'm just going to go through the schedule, guys, and just say pause when you think it's a losable game for Ohio State. Okay. Versus Akron. Versus Western Michigan. Versus Marshall. At Michigan State. Versus Iowa. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I... Well, 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 we already, like, we, we go into the schedule. The next game on that is um Oregon. At Oregon. So, mm-hmm. you know, just classic look ahead, look ahead spot. You know, Ooh, going on. Justin, game. I was prepared. You said I was prepared for that because you said something earlier in the gambling text message. You know who's after Oregon? Oh, Nebraska. Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> Where they're getting hype trained. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, motherfuckers are saying that Nebraska ain't gonna be asked this year. I think uh Matt Rule the coach there now. Yes. Well, mm-hmm. It's a second it's, it's a second season, right? He was there last year, wasn't he? I think so. so yeah, yeah. Now he's gonna get his people in, and he usually turns stuff around. And like with the teams he's gone to, and Joel Klatt, who I, I do respect, Joel Klatt's college football opinion. He said Nebraska could come into that game undefeated if they beat Colorado. Uh, that's true. I know they have a uh, Dylan Riola, and I know he was like a big incoming freshman uh, from the quarterback class this year. So Nebraska could do some things. So, Justin, you think OSU October 5th could have the potential look ahead because they know who they got on the 12th? Mm-hmm. Cedric, thoughts? Yeah, that's just that's just your classic quintessential look ahead spot right there. Man, I'm never, I'm never going to sleep on Iowa's defense. I mean, it is right yes. before Oregon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think we beat Iowa. <laughs> Just because that offense is still ass. Yes. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I, I agree. But I do, I do, I do agree with Justin that like because of that, like naturally could could fumble. Could fumble the bag potentially against Iowa. It's not like a thing, but I, I think I think we should be able to get there. Yeah. No, I agree. Because then you got the verse Iowa at Oregon. We're all gonna pause because that's yep. gonna be at Oregon. They yeah. they are I think they're favored right now still. Uh, uh, it was alleged that's going to be a night game. Still waiting for the true confirmation. But Dan Lanning obviously got Dylan Gabriel from Oklahoma, the new quarterback. Mm-hmm. We saw what they did. They only lost to one team, and that was Michael Penix. They literally only lost to one team, Michael Penix, nice. <laughs> both times. <laughs> I, I was, uh, well, you said only lost to one team, one big on the team. <laughs> bro, he was killing them, bro. Like it was, it was, I know, but it's just like funny the way you said it. They only lost to one team, Michael Pitts. You, you got to put some respect on Washington there. That that team was full of dogs. That team was yeah. loaded. You it was, it was, it was, was a deep squad. Michael Penix. We're almost doing that. They're a wide yeah. receiver. Oh, they had, they had two wide receivers. They had two. They had two. Yeah, I can't think of the other one's name, though. But but then you gotta see man because now we see Oregon. I mean Bo Nix again NFL preseason. Yeah, out there he's already named the starter. He's there. That's starter for the Broncos. They just couldn't get past him and uh the board, who's obviously the coach of Alabama. But Oregon, that's gonna be extremely tough. You go at Oregon and then you go first Nebraska, who we'll see if they're that good. And then you have right after at Nebraska Penn State. at Penn State. Oh, so you go first yeah. Iowa at Oregon, versus Nebraska at Penn State. Penn State, man. I don't like that mid road game shit like that, um, man. You go nice. home, you go home game at your toughest place, home game at your toughest place. I don't like that. Penn State, I think, is one of the teams that have been screwed the most by the Fox merger because Fox always wants their big games at noon, mm-hmm. and the whiteouts are definitely not the same at noon than they are at night. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. That place turns up at night. And then you got versus Purdue. I feel like we haven't played Iowa or Purdue since they like smoked us during the Urban Meyer era. 
It's but, been um, a minute. Probably not. No. Yeah, I really feel like we haven't played since they've been. And then at Northwestern, then you finish at home versus Indiana, and then at Michigan. Well, so, we're home uh, against Michigan, I thought. Yeah, you're home. I'm sorry. Yeah, both the home. Indiana. I was like, oh God, not again. Not there. No, no, no. <laughs> they wouldn't do. They wouldn't do. They would have put OSU at Oregon, at Penn State, at Michigan. Oh no. Oh, that would have been. Dang, oh. I I will say if if Ohio State goes undefeated in the month of October, mm-hmm. and and when that game against Penn State. Mm-hmm. I think they. I think that'll be enough for them to get into the playoffs, even with a loss against Michigan. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They'll be. They'll be an at-large team. Yeah. Yeah. I I, remember too for people listening to because obviously we've been away doing our other stuff on this pod that things are wacky. There's no more leaders, legends, East West. It's the top two teams finish the top two in the Big Ten, make the conference championship. So. If Ohio State only loses one game, they're probably going to be in the conference championship game. Then anything's possible. Yeah, that's why I forgot to yeah. mention. They, and they still might. They st- even like losing the game against Michigan or shit, even Penn State or Oregon, they could still be in the conference championship game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unlike last year, you lose one in the East, you're not making you're done. You're done. Yep. You ain't making the conference title game. Because <laughs> typically the team that you lost to was the one who made it. Mm-hmm. Which has happened in three straight years. And so I believe I, I believe all the major conferences got away. Yes. Don't do divisions anymore. They all don't do yeah. it anymore. Yeah, which made it hard picking these. Uh, I had to really think for these now, teams. I, I'm actually gonna. I, I mean, obviously, I got to ask the question. Mm-hmm. Back to back, Michigan. Oh, if Michigan, if we lose, if uh, if we play Michigan, then play them in the conference championship. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's possible. I just. We don't know what Mich- – obviously, their defense is going to be hard. Like, they're a lot of their defensive players, but, again, they lost a lot. We already know they lost Jimmy Boy and McCarthy and um, – mm-hmm. which you call because he's on the um, – Blake Corum. Blake Corum because he's on the uh, Rams Chargers. now. Oh, no, Chargers. Rams? Char- I don't know. I thought it's on the Chargers. On, he's on one of those. I think it's teams. the Chargers. He's on one of them. But either or, they lost their leadership. So, we'll see how they bounce back. I mean, they have big games to start the year. like. Oh, yes. Like, I believe mm-hmm. they got Texas week two. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Texas, Texas, yeah, at, coming to Michigan week two. And then they so, still got, they got Oregon as well. Yeah, and then they obviously have us, so. They got Oregon November. I don't know. November 2nd. I, mm-hmm. I just see this Michigan team losing, like, three games. I can see that. Especially with this, I don't know who the quarterback is. That's one of the things, too. I think it's going to be Alex Orgy because I think he was a backup for McCarthy last year. Donovan Edwards came back, right? Yeah, he's yes, still there. yeah, because yeah, because he's on the cover of the damn game. So, yeah. <laughs> you think Michigan will have three losses by the time they play Ohio State? No, I think they'll have three losses total, like the whole okay. year. Okay, I think they'll lose to Texas. Spoiler for next week. I think they'll lose to Oregon, <laughs> <laughs> and then I think they'll. Well, I'm praying they'll lose to Ohio State. I got you. Okay, I see what you're saying. Now, week week three, when we come back in two weeks and Michigan beat Texas, my whole perception changes. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real though, because they if they beat Texas in two weeks. Well, Michigan now we're talking about national title contender again. Yeah, Michigan, Michigan be yep. for real because Texas. That's a good. That's, That's a damn squad. good football team, too. That's a good squad right yeah. now. Yeah. But, and I, again, I think, we, like Justin said, we can get through that little snippet. We should be at Oregon, Nebraska, Penn State, yeah, Iowa, then we should be okay. Should be. We're going to be favored in, I think, every game but the Oregon game. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every game but the Oregon. And the Oregon game is because it's in Eugene. If it was in Columbus, Ohio State would be favored. For sure. Yeah, it's, a, it's only because you got to go there. Yeah. And, and we all know what time it's going to be, but that motherfucker going to be at night. I mm-hmm. think it's... I, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to think about it. It's the West Coast, so you know it ain't going to be at noon Eastern. It won't yeah. be that. Mm-hmm. So it could only be 3.30 or um at, at, at night. night. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think NBC, because again, guys, new stuff, NBC is going to have that night game, so... Yeah, I think that's what the... 
that came out last week. We'll see. We'll see, man. I mean, I only see that Oregon. Like, I could see us losing there, but the others, I put us at one loss. And we might get them again in a rematch of the championship. Uh, Will Howard got named the starter. We all knew this before we even came back. We didn't spend all that money to put someone on the bench again. Um, <laughs> and then, I will say they have not named the starting running back yet. So we still don't know if it's going to be Henderson or Judkins starting on Saturday. It doesn't matter. They're going to be splitting carries. It, it, really, yeah. does not, it really does not matter against Akron, who starts that game. Now, I will say one thing, spoiler thing again. I truly do not understand why September 7th game against Western Michigan is at 7.30 at night. Why are we playing <laughs> Western Michigan at 7.30 at night? Why not? I can tell you. Bro, that's a noon game. <laughs> you know. <laughs> why not? Hey, man, who's, who, hey, you never know, man. You know, yes, you Big Ten Network needing the night game. Shit. Exactly. Well, Early on, number two team. I can't wait till they put us on one of these damn Friday night games in a couple of years. That's, mm. definitely, that's definitely the network dictating that. Oh, yeah. You, you, you already know Ohio State's not trying to play that game that late. <laughs> it's so <laughs> wild. It's we don't wild. fuck with night games for real. I, well, that's gone. like that's like that's coming from the top. Like, I don't think I don't think they really fuck with that shit. Because they want they want their best game. They want their best games at noon, like Fox and all them. But, bro, come on, man. Ain't Mm. nothing better than the the ABC, like ESPN, like Saturday night game. And it's unfortunate because it's always the SEC. Like, that shit looks crazy when they have them big games at night. Especially at LSU, full moon. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Death Valley. Um, Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't even know. But if I if Ohio State wanted it, they could get those night games. It's just not what they want to do, probably. All right, and then before we go to the national scene, Ryan Day, we all know is being deemed the you know promotional people are deeming it as the most important college football season of all time because of the twelve team playoff. You could take that as you will, but for Ryan Day, this is the most important season of his life. That is not hyperbole. That is real. We've been here before, literally three years every year. Uh, we <laughs> don't make the national title game. We don't make the Big Ten title game. We've lost the Michigan three straight. Cedric, what does Ryan have to do to we got to see what does Ryan have to do to keep his job? Oh, just keep his job. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I know it's a 12-team playoff. I honestly, honestly, I think he would be fine if we advance. Well, like, if, even if we, I mean, the easiest path is win the conference so you get that first round by. Yes, yeah, so we'll be talking about the next that would be, I'm glad you brought that up. That would be the easiest way for him to secure. Is, I mean, would it be disappointing to lose our first game in the past, but to get that to win the conference means you've beaten Michigan, mm-hmm. you've won the conference. Probably had to beat Oregon one way or another, right? Like you've gotten there, and I think with the twelve team playoff, that gives a lot of latitude. Unfortunately, for more in that part, but if you lose to Michigan, make it in as one of the teams at large, and then you get bounced immediately. You gone, my guy. So I think if you, the easiest way for him, win. Win out as as best as you can. Get that win the conference. Get the buy. Honestly, I would love to see him in the championship game. I think that definitely they may extend him. I don't know how when his contract's up, but they may even fucking extend him if he makes it that deep. Because with this, there's a lot of possibilities and opportunities. So no. No. I think that's the easiest way. Justin. I believe for him to keep his job. He will have to one beat Michigan, and two at least make it to the semifinals. Semifinals, okay. Final four. You make it to the semifinals of yeah. If you make it to the final four of this shit, and you beat Michigan, and you win the Big Ten in there, I don't know how Oregon's going to figure into that one. But as long as he beat Michigan and makes it to the semifinal, I think his shot is safe. Anything less, I don't know. These motherfuckers be crazy. I do not know, but. I think to be truly safe, you beat Michigan and you get to that semifinal, you get to that final four, and I think you're good. You you, you be coaching in 2025. 
I think obviously the thing that's even put more pressure on him is that 20 million number. Because now all those normal mm-hmm. folk know how much you spent. Brother, you mm-hmm. spent 20 million the most in the country, and we can't get to the first, second round of the playoffs? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, don't uh... you go. <laughs> you pick your <laughs> that 20 if million is going to hang over it. They were asking about him today. Like, you know, you'll spend 20. So what is it? Like, he's like, oh, they came back. Nah, bro, you 20 million. Let's. <laughs> Byron, what's he got to do? We definitely beat Michigan. I think, like Justin, I think if he makes it at least to the final four, his job will be safe. I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. The absolute death con is if he loses at Oregon and then loses versus Michigan, because then he's probably not, they're probably not making the Big Ten championship game. I oh, know. If they lose mm-hmm. twice, they're probably not getting to the Big Ten championship game. That would be hell. They lose those two games specifically. Mm-hmm, those yeah. two specifically. And, and, and then the only way they will get in is if the committee lets them in, if they're one of the, the best of the rest. And then that, that's mm-hmm. just putting your faith in... That's just putting your faith in the committee too much. Yeah, because oh, yeah, then, no. I mean... Mm-mm. We're about to go to it right now, the 12 team playoff, because then Justin, I, me personally, I think, so let's just say in that scenario, so let's say Michigan's actually good somehow, whatever. And Michigan mm-hmm. and Oregon play in the championship game. I think the Big Ten champ and runner up are both getting in. Same. Yeah. I so that, that means, and I think the SEC champ and runner up are both getting in. Yeah. yeah. So that Burr. means Ohio State gonna have to sit there and compete against all them other damn SEC schools, and we know when it comes to these playoffs, that is the yes, worst situation. Sir. Oh, they love that conference so much. We and we've been you know, here so it many down times. To, right, we've been here so many times. Do not let it come down to Ohio State and Alabama. Do not. I was just about to say that. <laughs> if it's you know they're picking Alabama, if it's every year, us and Alabama. It's every year. <laughs> But, well, my theory it, but Nick ruined. Saban's not there anymore, so maybe will they still do it? Nicholas works for ESPN. Ruined. He might have more power. Oh, that's true. Shit. Oh, shit. That's right. That. <laughs> now they ain't got to watch the cameras. He can slide the money free and open hey, in the clear. Because Nick already, he already planted. See, this is how you know he a real one for his school. He already planted the seed. Ever since Georgia started winning those titles, they have only lost to one team, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Both times. Both their losses and Kirby's little... Dynasty era have been to Alabama. No one else is beating them. And that includes us. So, so. so Nick already letting you know. And obviously Alabama fucked it all up last year because they beat Georgia unexpectedly and then they got them. Mm-hmm. Man. All right. So as we've been saying, we got a 12 team playoff. This is the first one in history. Hopefully this show. Hopefully she didn't mess this up. Alrighty. So 12 team playoff. First one we get to ever talk about. Uh, the four highest ranked conference champs will be seated one through four and receive the first round by. Remaining teams, like Justin said, the better than the rest, uh, include the fifth conference champ will be seated five through 12 in the final ranking. Non conference champions and independents like Northern Dame. Ranked in the top four will be seeded beginning at five. Because of this, the seeding one through 12 could look different than the final rankings. So an independent team like Notre Dame will never be able to host a, will never be able to get a bye because they'll never win a conference championship as long as they're independent. But they could still host a game if they're high in the thing. So first, let's, let's go through. Let's see what we're, everyone is picking. Right now, to start the season, we'll be following this throughout the year. You got to start with the captain, Byron. Who's your number one seed? That's what prediction, man. Ohio State. Homer. Homer. Just kidding. Cedric. Georgia. I'm more. I can't even say it. they shut me up. That. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Georgia Bulldogs, baby. Come on now. Uh, Wow, this is going to be awkward because I am also a homer, but I have a reason because I think we're going to beat Oregon, Ohio State. Uh, Number two, we'll start. We'll go backwards. I have Georgia. Justin. Ohio State. Cedric. Ohio State. 
virus. Georgia. So right now we all have Ohio. So that means for these two to be, why did that one go there? For these two, that means we have Georgia winning the SEC and Ohio State winning the Big Ten. All right. Number three, Byron. I have Utah. Oh, okay. Cedric. Utah. Justin. Let's see. Um, That means you guys picking Utah. Think they're going to win the Big 12? Yeah, I also do. Hey, I'll do Utah there. I'll put Utah there. I think they're gonna, I think they're going to have a bounce back here. I think it's time to come back to relevancy. Clemson. And then I have Utah as my four. Justin, who's your four? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to sip the Miami Kool-Aid. Hurricanes, oh, baby. Oh, oh, what is the ACC? Okay. And damn you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Clemson done. Clemson done. Old niggas don't want to use the portal, man. Get, get, get up out of here, bro. Get with her. Get lost. New era. Cedric? I'm with the Canes, too. I wanted to be the one to say the Canes. <laughs> uh, Byron? I actually have Clemson as well. The ACC. Okay. All right. Let's find this is where. Okay. So all the champions, I mean, they're all pretty, pretty similar. Now this is where the things get real interesting. Byron, who's your fifth seed? These are the at large teams and we still have to have one conference champion. So I'm going to take the big 10 runner up Oregon. Okay. Well, yeah. Cedric. I am going to take Oregon. Justin. Another day. Then I or again. A uh, six, six seed. Man, I guess this might. I'm gonna take the SEC runner up. My SEC runner up, Missouri. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Them boys were out there for us. They should have beat Georgia. <laughs> well, yeah. That's my SEC runner up. Go ahead, Justin. We'll slot Oregon up in there. Cedric. Texas. Mm. Byron. I'll do my SEC runner up, Alabama. There you mm-hmm. go. There you go. Who's your seven? Uh, seventh, I have the Big 12 runner up, uh, Oklahoma State. Whoa, you think the Big 12 is going to get two? Why not? Uh, okay. Well, I, I mean, you do whatever you want to do. Cedric? Notre Dame. Justin? Texas? I'm sipping some more Kool Aid. Lane Kiffin, baby, Ole Miss. Mm. Damn, how many SEC teams you putting in this shit? <laughs> oh, he only uh, got three. I got three. How much you have? You have. You got. Where are you? I at? got two. Yeah, you. Got I two. got two. <laughs> I know. There's some more to go. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny too because my number eight team is the SEC team. It's Texas. I, that's that crazy. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> Oh, go ahead, Justin. I think that's my last one, though. Um, let me. I said Oregon. Let me get Penn State. Mm. Mm. Cedric. Where are we at? We're at the eighth season. Let me get Bama. Byron. Then I did another uh, ACC runner up. Miami, Florida. The Kings. Who's your ninth, Byron? Uh, this is where I have Notre Dame. Cetra. I was going to pick Florida State, but they fucking suck. Uh, I'll go <laughs> Clemson. <laughs> 
Justin. Who are we at nine? Mm-hmm. You know what? Oh, fuck it. Give me Tennessee. There you go. Uh, my nine, I also had murder game. And then my 10 scene, I had the Kings, Miami. I didn't. I'm sipping on the stuff. Uh, Justin. Ugh. And everyone still needs one more conference champion. We need a group of five. Mm-hmm. You could save that for your 12 seed. Man, I ain't going in order. I, I'm just getting checking teams off the list. Give me actual Appalachian State. Where's the Sun Belt? Mm-hmm. Huh? App State, you okay? Badger. Give me Penn State. Penn State. Mm hmm. Byron. Uh Ole Miss. Yes. Uh, Eleven seed Byron. Penn State. Cedric. Trying to see what conferences I have in here. <laughs> man, I also have some cool way, man. Let me get Liberty. Justin. You know what? I think they write the ship. Give me four state. Whoa. Mm. And then who did I have for eleven? All right, that's two. My twelve was Liberty. Justin, last one. Oh, miss. Cedric. Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. And Byron. I'm drinking that Liberty Kool-Aid, too. All Man, right. It's a damn shame they'll never make it in our dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 12-team playoff right now. So then if you just go off the seeding, so 12 for Byron, you'd have Oregon versus Liberty. Then your 9 and 8 would be Miami versus you have Wow, Catholics versus convicts, 2024. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then you have Penn State versus Bama. And then 10, Old Miss versus Oklahoma State. Yeah. And then Cedric's one. Well, uh, Oregon, Oak State. And then nine and eight. Bama and Clinton. Oof. We got the old college football championships right over here. And then 11 and 6, Liberty versus Texas. And then we already said Oak State. Yeah, Oak State versus Oregon. Then Justin got Notre Dame versus Ole Miss. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Penn State versus the Vol. I would wonder who would be favored in that game. What, between Penn State Penn and the State Vols? And Tennessee. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. And then you got Oregon versus Florida State. Let me say. That's a good question. The way I had it, probably Penn State just because they at home. Yeah, because five, yep, the five higher seeds in that would host the have the first playoff home games. And God, and we know ESPN will make Penn State host that shit at, you know, it'll be that would be dark as hell outside. You ain't getting that afternoon time slot. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Why not? Sure, they might do a second whiteout for that game. <laughs> <laughs> no. Playoffs? They'll do it. Absolutely. They'll do it. I mean, Penn State, I know people have talked about it, has been the, will be the biggest beneficiary of the playoffs because they always finish like 10-2 and because they always lose to Ohio State and they always lose to Michigan. But if those are the only two losses you have every season, you're going to be in the playoffs every year. Mm-hmm. But oh, I guess we're looking at it. Don't Justin, did you have them? Justin? You did not have Alabama, and neither did I. Why did you not have Bama? I think losing Nick Saban is going to be a way bigger deal than people are making it seem to be. Like he was the culture of that of that squad, so I think it's going to be some adjusting to. You have two newcomers in the SEC. You don't have divisions anymore, so. You don't have you. You don't pretty much have to 
beat LSU and um, what you would call it, A and M Auburn every year to be guaranteed an SEC championship game. So I just think the new the way the way um the SEC is formed now that it's going to be a little tougher tougher for them to um get into that championship game. The only reason I didn't pick them is because I think that Missouri and Ole Miss's schedules are significantly easier than Alabama's. That too. Because Alabama has to go to Wisconsin September 14th, then they get a bye, then they have Georgia, then they have Missouri in a couple weeks after that, then LSU, and then Oklahoma. And I don't know who LSU has because I think LSU's schedule is pretty easier too, but I just don't know what they got on that team right now. Yeah, we don't know. And then that defense was fucking god awful. They were terrible last yeah, year. They so were terrible. You gotta see how they, how that defense will show up this year because they were not a championship bunch. That defense was holding down tremendously. Uh, my thing with Texas because I actually struggled with Texas. Obviously, they got the second game of the year at Michigan, but I don't know if you guys know they have Oklahoma and Georgia back to back. I don't know who decided that shit, <laughs> but if they lose both of those, they're probably done. Yeah. In terms of SEC championship. Man, and don't and don't sleep on them rivalry week going to AM. Oh, there ain't yeah. no te- there, there ain't no team in the country that hates Texas more than, more than the Aggies. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> we haven't seen that shit in a while because um you know, Texas was in the Big 12, but now that now that, that shit is back, they can they can very well lose that game just off of motion and vibes, purely. Texas AM does mm-hmm. hate does hate um Texas. And Texas AM, they're expecting a lot of things. We all had Notre Dame in there. Currently, Notre Dame is the underdog against AM in the night game on Saturday. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. But I, I just don't like that Georgia. I don't like Georgia Oklahoma. You have your big rivalry against Oklahoma. Then the next week you play Georgia. Back to back. Yeah, that's yeah, tough. That's, they, that's... they ain't going to win both of those games. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. One of those, a minimum one is getting lost. Yeah, they ain't mm-hmm. going to win both of those games. So, yeah, they, and I don't think they're going to beat Georgia. So they need to <laughs> lock in. They need to lock in and beat their fucking rival. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah, because Oklahoma, where the hell is Oklahoma schedule? Yeah, because they got the Texas, and then up Texas, they got, like, South Carolina, and South Carolina, Ole Miss, Maine, Missouri, then by, then Alabama, LSU. And I, I like Missouri, man, because of what they did last year, because the public kept, the little sports betters kept fading them, and they were, they were racking up some cash. Yeah. They were good. Did they have that sweet wide receiver? Did he go to the NFL? Uh, he, he, Burdens is still there. Okay. 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 Man, it's just these schedules, man. It's like, it was even hard for me to put Penn State in because Penn State, yeah, they always lose to OSU and Michigan most of the time, but sometimes they lose to some other shitty ass school. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they lose this Saturday. Where do they play this Saturday? West Virginia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They very well could. Apparently, West Virginia don't fuck with Penn State either. No, they don't. No. They don't. <laughs> West Virginia doesn't say fuck with the whole state of Pennsylvania <laughs> as just a principle. <laughs> like, because, you know, their rivals are Pitt. And so yeah. they don't fuck with Pennsylvania at all as a, just a principle thing. No, bro. They hate the. Oh I mean, my damn. And this is James Franklin's thing, though. Like, this is it. This is it. He, he's another motherfucker that it's, it's kind of now or never. Oh, I mean, yeah, him and Ryan could be packing their shit at the same time. I mean, but West Virginia is a team that Jalen Franklin typically beats. Yeah. He he beats the West Virginians of the world. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying, but this is like, this year is, this is what he's, well, not necessarily just coaches in his position have been asking and calling for, like, let me have a shot in a playoff. Let me play yeah. other teams. I lose to the same two out. people every year. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Penn State does not play Michigan this year either. And that is why I put them above Liberty. That's the only reason why I was like, they may get two losses, but it may not be to Ohio State and Michigan. Yeah, Penn State, they're tough as, well, I don't know, man. They got at Wisconsin right before Ohio State, and it depends yeah. on how fickle got them boys. 
because that will change if, if if Fickle beats Alabama, then the whole then they're like, oof. Well, now we got to watch out for Wisconsin. Yeah, they'll be mm-hmm. feeling confident. I don't know well, if you want to go to Wisconsin at the end of October. That's around Halloween. Jump around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't really want to go to Wisconsin in the first place. So yeah, that's yeah, like, true. <laughs> and and then Penn, I mean Penn State. That's that's a tough back to back stretch. They got US at USC and mm-hmm. then at Wisconsin and then they play mm-hmm. Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No buy. No, there's there are no. The twelfth is USC, then twenty sixth is Wisconsin. So yeah, so a, there's a there buy, buy in between during that week. Uh, USC uh, and Wisconsin. Thank God, I, that was back to back weeks. I'd be like, yeah, schedule loss to Wisconsin. There's no way. Shit, if this was the Big Ten last year, they would have had all that. Then you had to play Michael Penix and Washington right after. You yep. got Washington yeah. after Ohio State. And thank God Washington literally lost everything. Everyone. Everything. Everyone. Just everything. 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 Yep. All of it. Coach, it. quarterback, star wide receivers. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was just picking because, like, with this no division stuff, man, it's really whoever has the best records at the end of the end of the year. Mm-hmm. I, I wish I could simply just trust that. I really do. <laughs> Well, I don't think a second team in the Big 12 is going in. I'm sorry. I don't think they're going to fuck with the Big 12 like that. It's also, for me, it's like depth and health. Like, if you can keep your star players healthy. Yeah. Because this committee mm-hmm. has showed you. Mm-hmm. Listen, like, we, we want the television views. We want the team that's mm-hmm. going to draw some attention here. So if it's close, by any means, homie, you ain't bringing no television views. You can go home. It's so wild that. What happened to Florida State really happened a year before the 12 team playoff because they mm-hmm. automatically would have been in as the conference champ. Hey, I, I'm just saying they're making the committee look right after they got their ass beat by Georgia. Then, like, <laughs> well, they also well, got half the three <laughs> turns of the team didn't play. <laughs> they also got I'm, gutted. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> they didn't play. <laughs> I'm just saying they got. They got a hand-me-down quarterback right now. <laughs> oh, let me say that. DJ, <laughs> you are trash. Garbage. Oh, like, Absolute trash. Third spot can't win shit. Go home. Trash. And their defense couldn't stop the fucking run. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right. So, Justin, obviously, Miami yeah. plays Florida week one. Like, this will show us. I mean, what we're, there's a lot of expectations with the U. A lot. Do we really think they're finally ready to take that step and be back in like playoff, like playoff contention? I mean, just like with Penn State and all these teams, it's now or never for Mario Cristobal. Mm-hmm. He, he got to. Those, these are his guys now. Mm-hmm. Goddamn, you know, they spending hella money. Mm-hmm. Fucking the, the schedule honestly lines up. You got Florida State at home. You got you do got um go to um at Florida this week, but hey. If Miami don't do it this year, then I don't think they ever will. Great. Great. All right. Before we check my before we go to these big games real quick, we haven't even picked um OSU game. I think we're all gonna say they're gonna win, but are they going to cover a 50 point spread? <laughs> That's a big spread. <laughs> 50 really points. I don't think so, but I hope that they can. At least beat these motherfuckers four five. Hey, don't let it start off like that. Last year, the Indiana game was starting a little roughy, and I mean, this is a one. But I was telling Byron off air, don't let Will Howard's first pass be a pick. Oh my god, this city will oh, not, they will hit that Twitter so fast. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they will. They probably won't have to fucking throw the ball against Akron. They should be honest. I don't they think you should, should throw the ball against anyone. Ball. You got two A tier running backs. <clears throat> they get they can mm-hmm. they can do a pure Michigan and just run the ball the entire fucking game. They got weapons all over. It's oh boy, Ryan knows. Uh, top games of the week: Clemson and Georgia, Notre Dame at Texas A and M, Penn State, uh, West Virginia, Miami of Florida, and LSU versus USC. That is the Sunday mm-hmm. night game because it's Labor Day weekend. Uh, Clemson mm-hmm. versus Georgia. Who are you guys liking in that one? Why are you even asking? We, we, everyone pick Georgia. Next game. <laughs> oh, damn. You don't believe it. <laughs> everyone pick Georgia. Nah. You don't believe in the Dabo? No. Not this first game. I, I actually was having to think because they're the only two besides Mac Brown. I had to really think hard. 
They're the only two, like, besides Mac, who have national championships who are coaching still. Saban's gone. Harbaugh's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, these are. So that's a big first game. Big first game. Uh, Notre Dame and Texas A&M. Texas A&M is favorite at home. Who you guys like him? I'm going Notre Dame. Gig them, baby. I'm going A&M. I'm going with Irish. Ah, man, I can't. I, you know, I got to go with the Irish, too, because, you know, even though the stench of, you know, who is gone now, Jimbo, he's out of there. So, see what we can do. <laughs> Uh, Penn State, West Virginia, 12 o'clock. Penn State, eight-point favorite. I get Penn, Penn State. Penn State, but you can start being nicer to A&M now, now that Jimbo's not there. Oh, yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> I can. I can. You're right. You're right. He's gone now, so I don't have to talk shit about him anymore. Oh. Because, you know, they ain't paying this coach $75 million. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Jimbo at home I'm still getting that too. Yep, he's Thanks. still at home getting it. <laughs> I still have that save favorited in my tabs, his buyout calculations. So <laughs> Miami, Florida at Florida. Justin, what will Florida ever come back? Mm. Not this year, because they ain't gonna win this game. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't disagree. I don't but someone's getting upset this week. I just don't know who, but um Byron Cedric, you guys going with Miami, Florida? Yep. Yeah. All right. I think this is one of the most interesting games of the week. LSU and USC. What are both these teams, the last two Heisman Trophy winners, now all gone in the league? No one's talking about USC like we were last year. Like, oh, this is probably off team. And we know LSU, they have a, they always have talent when they put it together. And then Lincoln mm-hmm. Riley. Now, is, Lincoln, is this Lincoln Riley's last year if he's ass? <laughs> probably. I mean, how, how, like, how long have you been there? I know he tried to flee and then he got captured again. <laughs> <laughs> He's only been here for like a couple. It's been three years? seasons. I think since twenty twenty one. Oh, yeah, this is third three years. Season. Jesus, twenty twenty. I'm just saying because my man, my man tried to flee the Big Ten. He got captured again. So, <laughs> and he didn't want this shit. And then, yeah, so we don't know. We're gonna see who starts now. And his problem has always been defense. They fired Alex Grinch. They got a new defensive coordinator and. We're going to see, man. Maybe they surprise some people, but L.A. don't care about this team unless they're winning. L.A. is a whole as a nation full of bandwagon fans. <laughs> if you're not winning, the stars don't come to your game. When you're winning, the stars all act like you're the hottest thing on earth. But who y'all got in this one? I got LSU. Justin? I don't hold the same disdain for Lincoln Riley as y'all do. I think the I defense. Hate will, I think I don't think the def, I think the defense will be better. I don't know what to expect from LSU's defense, which was also ass last year. The game's in Vegas. I'm gonna go with USC. I hold disdain for people who get private jets and that big actually, houses. That is 100 percent factual. <laughs> if you have a private jet, Martin does hate you, especially when you don't deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> Cause I know my man Quinn, brother. <laughs> oh, that should have me hot. <laughs> but then he bought on the playoffs. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll calm down a little bit. But still, come on now. And then he beat Bam. I was like, oof. Do I have to change my notion on him? So who you got to this? <laughs> oh, Bro, that thing man. was huge. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm a roll with LSU. I need them to get this dub because I, I don't think they're going to mix it up well in the SEC. I just don't know what's really going on with that roster, so they need to get these out-of-conference wins. All right. I agree. I got LC. Uh, Heisman, preseason Heisman pick. Uh, Dylan Gabriel is currently the favorite, followed by Carson Beck, Quinn Ewers, Jalen Milrow, Jackson Dart, Will Howard, Cam Ward. 
Who's your preseason Heisman pick? Or is it going to be someone who's not even listed? I mean, could be. I just went Carson Beck. I feel like Georgia is trying to be on a revenge tour, so I feel like Carson Beck might go off. That's wild. Georgia loses one game, and they're going to be on a revenge tour. That's crazy. <laughs> That's, crazy. <laughs> That's what everyone's calling it this year. Hey, hey it's not just one game, Martin. It's what happened after that. That one SEC champ. All right, I like it. Justin, they lost you think- that game, and the committee said no. Yeah, they said you're out of here. <laughs> Justin, what about you, man? You're sipping the Kool Aid Miami. If they're good, Cam Ward. Maybe I would want to pick one of those running backs at Ohio State, but I mm. think it's going to be splitting carries too much for one to like mm-hmm. really, one to like really pop off. And I'm going to go Luther Burns the third. If Missouri really makes the playoffs, mm-hmm. like Martin said, that means that man will be going off all season long. To these, these, so I'm gonna go Luther Burton's. I don't know why DJ is on here, bro. Like, get, get off the list. Plus four thousand. You're really chilling, that young man. Oh my god, it's not, it's not his fault. He's ass. No, it's not his fault. He's ass. What <laughs> sentence did I just? What, <laughs> Cedric? Oh, I'm gonna go Quinn. Okay, yeah. Just you know, honestly, be a nice little, nice little pinch. Another former Buckeye getting the Heisman. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. So, Shador Sanders is plus three thousand. You know, I almost pay Colorado to just sneakily make number twelve just for shits and gigs. Oh hell no! These motherfuckers need to worry about North Dakota State on Thursday. Justin thinks they're getting upset on Thursday. They're a ten point that, favorite. That, Bet bet North Dakota State plus 10 right now. You heard it here first. (laughs) I will. And I I might throw $5 on the money line before the game. (laughs) Justin is confident. I was like, whoa. I was like, brother, they did not put Dion to be alone on Thursday night. Like, this is NFL Network for him to lose. (laughs) That game's on NFL Network because there's fucking hella games on Thursday. There's so many Uh, goddamn games on Thursday. Wow. But I, I, yeah, I, I really think if Miami's just flip side, if Miami's as good as they, if we think they are, I think Cam Ward's going to do. You know, mm. They have to be good. They have to be good. I mean, I, I gave it up on OSU people winning the fucking highs, but you have to do, you have to go undefeated to even have a shot. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, you don't. The last OSU person to win the Heisman went undefeated. Oh, you talking about the OSU content? I was getting ready to say Jalen, Jalen Daniels. What the fuck off? No, you lose one game, you lose it. CJ Stroud lost that one game to Michigan, lost the Heisman. Mm-hmm. Justin Fields, no Heisman. Yeah, I think it's horseshit. Dwayne Haskins threw fifty tutties, lost that, got an ass, that ass whooping to Purdue. No Heisman. You got to go undefeated OC to win a Heisman, bro. We haven't won a national championship since 2014. Haven't won a Heisman since 2006. Damn. But it's okay. All right. The fun parts. Winners and losers of the summer. Obviously, winners and losers can be anything. And since we've been gone, just stuff throughout the summer, and we'll just keep going until we're done. This was Justin's segment. So, Justin, you started off with a winner and loser of the summer. We're just going to keep going around. Oh man, God, God! Can I say my loser's fucking Noah Lyles, even though he's the fastest man in the world? I want to. Keep so I mean, if you want <laughs> to, you can. That's kind of you, you, you can use I it am, bro. That nigga be talking. That nigga be talking crazy. He fucking. He, he, he fucking faking COVID out here. That's what I said. He faked COVID. That is the opinion he, he, of he, Justin. He, he an excuse why he, why he lost thing. the 200 meter. <laughs> and he said he got COVID. It's bullshit. No lies to Louis. He talking shit to Tyreek Hill. How about take over the football field? How about that? And run around. Then my winner, the United States men's basketball team. Because that shit was, was special. That shit had me invested in fucking the Olympic men's basketball and then shout out to my and then shout out to my another winner bro number seven for um france I, I can't i can't say his name bro but he parlayed his olympic performance to an nba contract shout out to, shout out to that guy and boomed on lebron's head 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to keep going. I mean, shit. Cedric, you got some winners and losers, man? I mean, I'm yeah. honest. I, I mean, was plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my losers right now. Dallas Cowboys, I hate you on this. So. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, honestly, it's it's just because it's just Jerry Jones. It's not even Dallas. It's just Jerry Jones. We go. I'm glad they signed he paid that. I'm glad he got his money. I think it should have happened before. I don't know. Yesterday. Um, don't know what Michael Parsons is doing. Don't know what Dak is doing. Don't know really what else is happening. But hey, you got Dalvin Cook interviewing, so maybe they'll get some stuff going on. Um, winners. Justin mentioned the men. I'm going to mention the women's. The Eagles then won the division last year, just so you know. Uh, what happened to you guys after you won the division? We 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 go back and forth. I don't know why, why the Cowboys had to catch a straight from you and winners and losers. It's see, not really even a straight. It's not even money. a straight. It's not even a straight. It's dead you ass on your head. heads. Right, Fuck y'all niggas. Chance, you know bro. what it is. I hate y'all so much. But you, you just hate them. I do hate the Cowboys. Yes, I do. Um, but yes, Unnecessary. women's you that women's, shit when I US, wasn't here. I say that shit when you asleep, nigga. I don't give a damn. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but weird. USA women's team just building onto that dynasty, just winning gold medals after gold medals after gold medals after gold medals after gold medals. After gold medals. And that game was just fire, absolute fire. And not to lash, very fortunate. That Williams' foot was on the line, the three-point line, so we went by one. All right, two. All right, all right. Damn, Pat. Byron, winners and lo- what? What do you? How many winners and losers you got? I just have one winner, and one loser. Oh. First, I'll start with the loser. The Saints off season because we didn't dress the glaring holes on our offensive line. We were twenty-first in rushing yards a game last year, which is abysmal when you have fucking Alvin Kamara. So. Saints offense. I mean, Saints offseason. Loser. And the highest <laughs> paid running back room in the league, too. Facts. Only, I think we had like 102 rushing yards per game last year. Crash. Um, winner, on the flip side, the Thunder offseason. Because we got the big man we needed in Isaiah Hardenstein. So, Buffalo will get, not get out-rebounded next season. Okay. 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 Um, all right, first winners for me. I'm gonna start off up with a uh, SML Sydney McCoughlin Ravoni Lavoni, 200 meter hurdle champion. She bro- she's broken her world record six straight races. Need I say more? Like the blistering speed she's running the 200 hurdles. She would be beating a lot of people in the world in the 200. She's hard, uh, Gabby. Gabby Thomas of winning the 200 meter dash to the Olympics. Uh, doing that. I do got a shout out to Noah Lyles because that was Justin. That's the first time we've won the 100 in like 20 something years. Yeah, uh, I, need ch- I, need, I need to chill on him. He just rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> I, I don't. And then my other one, obviously, I got to give it to, to Bogo winning that 200 meter dash. For the oh motherland, <laughs> for the motherland, went home, old parade, king service. Yes, sir. I had to have to shout him out there. Um, losers. The abysmal three on three basketball teams. Y'all are ass. You know, I almost put HVL as my <laughs> loser too. Trash, <laughs> garbage. How are we getting smoked in three-on-three basketball? That is how you learn how to play basketball in the damn playground. What are we doing? Fucking trash. God-awful. God. God God-awful. Who else, man? Um, Shit, that's really really it for real. I mean, there's a lot of losers out there. You were about to say Haley Van Lip? I was. Wow, she's been getting cooked ever since she left uh, Louisville. Ellis. Yeah. It, she's not going to LSU next year. She's going somewhere. I'm like, well, I hope TCU. That, he's, uh-huh. Yeah, TCU. I was like, I hope that, hope that's a fit for you. <laughs> she I don't she know. still has eligibility? Damn. <laughs> uh, I think she has one year. 
Yeah, she, she already has a. Do- she got her masters mm-hmm. at LSU. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I'm. Oh yeah, and then another winner since his first time here. The L7C podcast, five hundred plus episodes, four years. Just saying. Just that's saying. a great winner. Just saying. I mean, besides that, I mean, we're we're doing everyone else. They're just people just being ass, man. Just. It's okay. We're here. All right, Byron, you want to take it home for us, man, and close us up? This has been a great first episode of the 2024 College Football Podcast. Can't wait to do these weekly. Go Bucks, Ryan Day. Please get your sit together. I would like to beat Michigan. I would like to win a championship this year. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.